Okay, Mark heard me ask the guys for the most pointed question that you could possibly pose. He decided to go for blood, which I actually respect. Instead of questions like, oh, which kind of snips are the best? He went in for the kill, you know? By the way, it's Midwest. Mark Werner asked, what has Brian Orr or Jim Bergman said to you personally to let you know they were full of crap? That's the question. I actually sent him something back that's like, you want to be more specific on that? It's like, was there bad customer service at AccuTools one day or something? He says, I thought that either person in a personal conversation with you might have said something that you knew was not true. Possibly something from their personal life, not necessarily about the HVAC trade. The personal life is off limits for sure. So we're going to skip that part of it. But he says, we tend to think they are gods of HVAC facts, so I'd like to hear a story that may humanize them more. And it's like that with a lot of stuff, guys. I'm going to bring the chat back up. It's like that with a lot of stuff, man. You you hear a guy that's doing well, or he's like the top of the field, and you just want to tear him down. It's natural because you even the score if you're on the lower end of that. Now, I thought it was a good opportunity to talk about that because you do have guys that are perceived as infallible in the HVAC trade, and all I was going to say is a lot of the times they're perceived that way is because they're really smart and they know a lot of stuff. And when they talk, it's usually pretty accurate and right. And you usually can learn something from it. But I think in any case, when anybody's telling you anything, and I use this all the time to a nth degree, I guess, you want to be skeptical and test what they are saying. Because every dude out there, no matter who it is, and I'm not talking about Brian and Jim. Hey, there should be a morning show here, Brian and Jim. I'm not just talking about Brian or Jim Berg, but I'm talking about anybody like that. Test what they're saying or try to reason with it because they're just dudes, just like anybody else. They're just like they were once technicians. They were once installers. They were once the guys that put shit in backwards. They were once the guys that shocked themselves by accident. So just kind of consider that when you're thinking about this sort of thing. Now, I wouldn't say anything about them personally. I think they're pretty nice guys from what I can tell. Jim has you know, his meat pitchers, which is really weird. And then Brian, he's just too perfect. You just want to naturally destroy him. I'm just kidding. All right. And they're still talking about snips. Look at this. They're still talking about snips over here. It's like, we don't give a shit about this subject. Curtis needs to stop with Ameristar. I think we all know that if Curtis chose Ameristar, he shouldn't be judging what quality is. So, I mean, there you go. 